Hey guys, my name is Brad and welcome to nursing.com. And in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to be discussing peptic ulcer disease, some of the pathophysiology. So regarding the pathophysiology of peptic ulcer disease, it's important to understand that it's like a chink in the armor, right? Click the link below or visit nursing.com slash NFN for a free NCLEX ebook covering the 77 key topics. Whenever you're looking at the stomach, and you look at the inside lining of the stomach, right? What we actually have is this nice mucosal membrane, right? This mucosal lining on the inside of the stomach. And the entire purpose of this mucosal lining is to protect these sensitive submucosal and muscle layers, these delicate sensitive tissues from that corrosive hydrochloric acid. Remember, our stomach produces hydrochloric acid in an attempt to try and chew up and dissolve the food that we consume so that once it passes into the small intestine, we're able to more effectively remove nutrients. Peptic ulcer disease is like a chink in that armor. It is a breakdown in an area of that mucosal lining that would then allow the spillage of hydrochloric acid into that mucosal membrane to then begin to chew away at these sensitive and delicate tissues. One of the leading culprit causes that's important for you to know regarding peptic ulcer disease is H. pylori, also known as Helicobacter pylori. And essentially, not to get too technical, but what this is, is it's an infection that ends up resulting in inflammation of that mucosal lining of the stomach, causing a breakdown in that mucosal lining, which then allows stomach acid to chew through that lining in the stomach. NSAIDs are another one, right? I'm not going to dive into this cellular process, but just know or remember NSAIDs work on cyclooxygenase 1 as well as cyclooxygenase 2, right? One is responsible for reducing inflammation. That's what NSAIDs are responsible for. But one of the other cyclooxygenation oxygenases <laughs> actually chews away that protective mucosal lining, allowing hydrochloric acid to escape into those mucosal, uh, submucosal tissues and start to chew away at our stomach lining. Also, smoking as well as alcohol consumption both also can directly lead to the development of peptic ulcer disease. But it's important to know that the leading culprits are H. pylori as well as NSAIDs. If you need more help breaking down complex topics like this one, make sure to head over to nursing.com slash NFN. Click the link in the description below or scan the QR code to unlock your free NCLEX review that covers 77 must-know nursing topics. Make sure that you learn this, that we love you guys. Now go out, be your best self today, and as always, happy nursing.